Hey y'all, welcome back to a new video. Today, for this video, I'm going to be playing some Roblox One Fruit Simulator. I'm telling y'all right now, this has to be one of the best One Piece games out right now. So, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be basically just showing what you should do before you enter the third C. Or, I guess you could say, like, deeper into the Grand Line. Um, as you can see, I am level uh, 8,657. I am obviously working like with a friend and stuff, so I'm waiting till he go uh, goes ahead and uh, stops watching One Piece all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? Comment down below what episode you guys are on in One Piece, if you do watch it. Or just any anime in general. Uh, make sure you like list uh title down below in the episode you're on. That'd be uh that'd be a cool little thank you. Uh just just let just to see how many people watch far too far into this video. So, as you can see from the title, I am gonna be, you know, showcasing all of the things you need or well I guess want before going to the third C and one fruit simulator. Um, as you can see I am really good. I haven't posted a video on this before. I am on my PC right now. Um, I did get one. I got Perm Dragon and Perm Rubber right now. Um, I need to unequip that sword. But, um, yeah. Been playing for a little bit. I mean, I got, once again, like, I mean, you can see the belly and stuff and all the, and the level and the health and stuff. But, once again, I'm going to be showing y'all some, uh, some stuff you probably should get. Probably, like, you know, accessories swords fighting styles uh devil fruits too um as a person who has not gone to the third sea but obviously has gotten help from the wiki on um, the fandom wiki which i'll be showing y'all the things i use and whatnot as you can see i do not have a set right now on because first of all i have to get crocodile set and for some reason crocodile's um accessory set is like and then like i don't know i just i afk'd him and i tried to get it but i could not get any as you see if i search up if i search up alligator it'll only pop up with one but this is my set right here so far i get 125 health six percent fight damage and fruit damage so yeah I really like the flamingo coat because it does give you a lot of fruit damage. I believe every yeah, every single one of these give you fruit damage. So I'll show you how to get each and one of these. As I, I just said, if crocodile, but I'll show you even. So uh, let's just hop straight into it. I am flying right now with the dragon fruit. Um, heading over to the first thing we're gonna go to and I don't really know okay I think that's one I think we you know what let's do a little blocks fruit roll real quick I don't we're gonna do a devil fruit roll um, not like I need it but by the way I do have rubber in my inventory so if any of you guys have a trade request let me know and I could just um, let you know my username in the comments because I got rubber on me I got I got a few fruit double fruits <sighs> made it over to um, what is this called whiskey beak all right oh wait I do have hockey v3 by the way as you can see right here I hope my like I have a outline of red <coughs> flame and flowers on the ground I believe maybe I can only yeah, I can okay we get, oh my god, I get the Tremor Fruit? What? Nah, the YouTuber luck is kicking in. The, wait, is that the Tremor? Yeah, it is. Okay, three mythicals. I got Venom, Tremor, Rubber, Gas, Magma, Paw. I got a lot of Devil Fruits, like a lot of them, so that's cool. And uh, I want to check out the stock. I, don't, I believe it, oh, it's about to change, so horrible stock as usual. <laughs> so... Turn into my dragon. Oh, wait. I might. Oh, no. I, I'm not. I'm surprised I didn't get stuck. 
So, I'm going to meet y'all at, where is it, the um, Alabasta. I'll be right back. Made it over here to Alabasta, so. Now, this is a, he does have a whole entire set. Alligator right here. He's pretty, pretty weak, honestly. Uh, pretty weak. I didn't get anything, sadly, but. I have AFK'd him for about a half hour, and he spawns every, like, five ten minutes so i think it's five minutes so i mean what can you expect when you only kill um what's uh six times i mean really nothing a little a little secret i don't think he's here right now this guy gives you what well, uh, i guess you he gives you a pretty good mastery for only having like five million health so i guess if you're just now starting a devil fruit or like you know you tried out and you're trying out a new devil fruit you should probably kill that guy first and then work on NPCs, because he'll probably, he'll give you, um, I believe it's enough for the th first three moves, it matters what it is, I believe he gets you 120 mastery though, so, um, overall, decent guy, and he, it's, he's only 5 million health, so, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys, um, on the wiki, what he can drop, and like, what the whole entire set is, we're on the wiki, as you can see, by the way, shout out to the wiki, bro, it helps out so, so much, so, we're going to search up the uh, alligators, alligator, alligator hook. We could, So, he drops the alligator hook as well, and has a 0.3% chance. It is, the, like, one of the rarest swords, but it is probably, like, one of the coolest. I mean, look at it. It's literally a hook, and it's from the alligator raid. Now for the uh, alligator right here, based off Crocodile Mr. Zero. If you somehow did not know that, his drops are alligator suit and alligator cape. So, and it's obviously the Sankey, but we don't really care for the Sankey right now. Um, I'll show you guys both, I guess. It's so the alligator suit. Is a two percent drop chance with a six a uh, plus six percent fruit damage and a plus six percent fruit da uh, fight damage. So, and it's part of the set buff actually. So, it's once again it's a set that buffs your thingies, that buffs your fruit damage, and it's actually really really good. Um, and the second thing, uh, wait, did I sh tell you guys the uh, drop chance? Is there no? Oh, there's no drop chance here. All right. Oh, no, 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 2%. I think I did say that, but whatever. Said it again. <laughs> um, alligator cape, which I believe is uh, the least rare ones, which is a f with a 5% chance. Looks pretty uh, good if I do in use uh, back. Looks like a like an admiral coat, but just like like black, I guess you could say. 4% fruit damage and 4% um, fight damage. And with a 5% chance. So overall... I somehow got the rare one, but overall, very, I'd say, deep, mildly easy to get. I mean, you AFK that ball, um, alligator with some decent luck, you'll um, you'll probably get both. So, the set, I'm going to show you the second C, alligator, no, not, wait. No, that's, um, no, yeah, right here, okay. And by the way, um, I believe you can wear a hat accessory with the alligator set. Because there's no, uh, there's no, uh, whatever you call it. There's no, you know what I mean. There's no, uh, hat. So, <laughs> that took forever. Um, the total buff is 10% fight damage and, uh, plus 18% fruit damage. But really, you get that extra 8%, so technically you have 26% fruit damage. Which is, uh, very, very good. Now, this is the upgraded version I'm going to show you right here. Um, I actually have this one. The old god set. Horrible, by the way. Like, it only gives you 3% fruit damage. So, it's really bad. I mean, it gives you that extra health and stuff. But, honestly, not that worth it. On it if you want me to be for real. But, the alligator set overall um, is a really nice set. Um, especially for decent beginners. Going into the third C, though, 
you might want a little bit something more beefy, just like, just like God in a Rousset, or an Eminem, Eminem, I mean Eminem, God Eminem. <laughs> so, I, he, uh, drops, and if you saw from the wiki, which I'm gonna pull up right now, Shebang Magic, wow, that's so cool. Um, anyway, the God set right here, God Pain, God Closing, God Cap, we're gonna go for the God Pain, which is the... Tamo ring behind hit on his back. It is a one percent chance. That's a problem with the God M um, God um, God Inaru is because it's a low low chance of getting the God's pain, but it does give you a plus ten percent fruit damage. So it's that's low key kind of a lot. So for that now, other than that. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> um, other than that, we have the God Clothes, which I think I have. So, with the 3% chance, I believe it's the highest amount of chance, uh, like, accessory from him. It is a plus 5% fruit damage. So, and you need it for the um, thingy. And it looks uh, pretty cool. Just like some, the, some, it's like, it, it's literally his pants. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen his pants um, in the One Piece show, but it looks exactly like it. God, the, the God's cap with the ears, see, right here, this is how it looks. Kind of just, like, it's, it's not very seen. It's a 3% chance, it's the middle one, like in the middle between both, and a 5% block fruits damage. So as you can see, the, this is just, damage damage like all damage so i'm gonna show you another alternative that will give you like a health plus a damage um like a sword damage like a sword type of style but so far we're gonna work on this so yeah if you click on uh second c see where see where it is if you want to go to fandom and check it out for yourself but Overall, you get a 30, with the set, you get a 30% fruit damage, and 20% uh, speed, which is you're pretty speedy, and then 10% sword damage. So, you're getting sword damage plus speed, and f obviously fruit damage, and 30% for that matter. Um, so, overall, like... It's a I I like the set. The problem with it is it's, vi it, they're, it's like... An insanely rare set. I've only gotten. The uh. The pants. Oh I don't have them on. <laughs> I only have the uh. Where is it at? Where, where are you at? Oh there you go. I got the God's clothes. And I don't know why I don't wear them. Oh no. Because they'll take off. Crocodile suit or alligator suit, whatever. So, very, very good. Like, if you can get the entire set, it is that is it's it's gonna be very, very nice for you. Um, let's see, can I get lucky here? Uh, oh, never mind. I was about to say, am I that? Am I that weak? <laughs> Nothing. But that just shows how rare it is. I mean, you're not going to get it often. You have to, you'll have to. you probably have to AFK him for quite a bit. But um, probably like the best. I think it is the most damage you can get for the second C accessories. And if it isn't, it's because they put a little bit extra in the speed damage. And obviously the sword damage. So if you ever want to become a sword main, there you go. Or not. Uh, it's not just as good as this next one I'm about to show you. But at least for this one, you get a little bit more variety. But well, there's a dark fruit on the ground. But this next one's going to be for all of the fellow Zoros and Hawkeye Mihawks. Alright, so I picked out a few of them um, for sword mains for Zoros and, you know, Hawkeye Mihawk people. And I have came up with the Foxy set. Overall, really good with that, uh, that, um, that 10% uh, 
uh, sword damage, which by the way is almost impossible to get more than 10% sword damage. I looked through all of them hunt about a hundred times. Um, overall, this is like a really nice one just because you get more gun damage and fruit damage. You get more variety and obviously about 34% speed is really nice. And then for the Foxy Queen set, which I don't know if the Foxy Queen is a raid boss or not. Yeah, it isn't. So that helps out a lot. And there's only two sets for these, both of these. The reason this one's honestly better, even though it has less sword damage, is 8% sword damage versus like that 2% difference won't make that big of a difference considering we're counting another 2100 health, uh, extra fight damage, a uh, little bit extra defense, extra fruit damage. I mean, overall, and extra the extra speed, that 16% extra speed. Obviously, you do get more for speed for this one, but you get that 2100 health, which kind of makes up for it. And then we have, if you want to count Old God set, um, but you'll only get a little bit of sword damage. That's why I really don't count it. This one right here has a 10% sword damage with 20% speed and actually 30%. But it's obviously God set. I'm telling y'all God set is really good for all around PVP or PVE. <laughs> so, um, by the way, I think... This is, uh, this is a lot more you might see, but if you see combat set, which if anything with combat in it, that means it's a raid boss. Otherwise, I would put that in there. So, those are like the few things uh, um, that you can use for, for, what, um, for uh, swordsmen's. Now, I thought I saw an extra one. By the way, this Bizaru set is really good as well. Um, so, if you want to do that too. But, um, once again, it's another raid. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, that's it for the Swordsmans. Loki, that's basically every um, accessory out of the way. Hold on, let me just... Uh, kill this guy. You never know. You never know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's low-key kind of sad. So, now I'm going to be going through, like, um, a really good fighting style. I actually don't have it on. I need to put it on. Um, actually, I just I just totally forgot. It's literally here. It's a, probably the best fighting style here, even though it's not the most expensive. Um, it is the dial style. I, um, I don't have it equipped. It. Uh, I literally... Okay, apparently you have to buy it every single time, which kind of sucks. But, as you can see, I almost have every move. And it is such a good combat style. As you can see, I only have it at level 1500 with only 350 mastery. And every M1 does 100k. Which, mind you, what my Devil Fruit... I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, the Devil Fruit is going to be way more. I mean, look at the level. Overall, it's just better. But, even then, that only does 1.5 million. So, we're doing still 0.1 million uh, damage. And overall, the, uh, the, um, the moves, the combat moves, are really, really good. Like, the axe style, that one's really nice for damage. Obviously, you see that did a lot of damage. Um, actually, I think that tied in. No, that, well, that's actually kind of surprising. Even for myself, even though this is my main uh, dial style. Don't get me wrong. Dark leg is really good, and so is six realm, um, six realm style. But style, style is just overall just better. Then for the fire dial, um, as you can see, the damage that it does over time is 1.3 million, almost 1.3 million. I mean, it's overall a like already good moves. And the impact dial, and by the way, uh, this is 1.35 million. These are all pretty decent far range. Like the ox axe style, I could maybe be from over here. The fire dial is like, is is not. It's the fire dial is like the shorter ones, but the impact dial, I believe, is a pretty decently sized um, one. 
But then we're going to do the wind dial. I don't have the mass 3 500. I will get that to show it. But, um, yeah, I, do, I, I sacrifice a lot for y'all, bro. <laughs> the wind dial does about 2.2 million. So, you tie this in all together. I mean, we're already doing about 6 million or a lot, a lot of damage. Then if we just M1 a ton, we'll do after... 11 hits will do a, a million. Obviously, if you have 5,000 level, you'll probably do double my dam, uh, a lot more than double my damage. <laughs> but I do have all of the thingies. I have a hockey V3 and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get Master 500. It'll take me literally a second, so I'll be right back. Literally one kill later, um, I have the impact dial, a uh, reject dial, I meant, which. I won't spoil, like, if you don't want spoilers, um, this is at Skypea right now, so if you don't want spoilers, just skip a little bit ahead, like, probably 10 seconds, um, starting now, but the reject dial, as we all know, is made by Wiper to kill God in Ruin, it doesn't work, so, anyway, it is 2.61 million is the final move, I mean, you combo that all together, it's gonna do a ton of damage, um, and by the way, I don't even have my, I'm not using my conqueror hockey, so, yeah, it's overall the best fighting style for this, the first and second C, um, obviously, because if you can get demon leg in, uh, second C, which I believe you can't, unless if you can, though, um, I've never heard of someone having demon leg in second C, though, so, um, yeah, so, next, I'm going to go into the best uh, swords for the um, first and second C. Alright, so I have found two alternate options. So, the Operation Sword gives a, uh, there you go, 30% buff in damage to itself, sword damage. 7.5% to other damage sources, so that's like just like all around. And it also buffs the Operation Fruit by a lot. Operation Sword V breaks Observation Hockey, so that's really nice of it. The thing is with this, the reason I picked two is because this is a 0.5% chance, making it one of the rarest swords in the game. Um, but at least this one's a drop. The next one I'm about to show you is a little harder to get, but it's way less rare. So, if you click on the God Weapon, which is this, um, f the pull second form, basically. It's 85 million. The downside of this is 85 million berries, which is not a lot, but um, it, can, it can be a lot. The way you get this is getting the Divine Weapon, which is dropped from Eminem with a 0.9% chance. Pretty much all swords are going to be a really low chance of happening. Uh, I could show y'all another sword that's not going to be as high of a chance, but it's not going to be nowhere near as good. But, um, overall, this was probably the one I'm going to go for. Um, this one has, this one has the armament, like, version, so it does, that does help out a lot, too. Um, the damage chest, which is pretty high, pretty, pretty, pr pretty good. It's overall pretty good. That's max sword stats, by the way, if you didn't know. It takes up quite a bit of stamina. This, that's the sad thing. But, it's only 50 mastery. So, I mean, and the cooldowns are a little bit shifty because they're three moves. Like, if it was 5, 7, and then 20, I, it wouldn't be as bad. But, it's 5, 12, and 20. But... And then the, uh, the damage per second is 292 million per second, which is really, really good. Um, and the C-move apparently can hit multiple enemies at a time. And then after getting that, as you can see, which you can unleash it from the... Unleashing it from the sword upgrader. The weapon upgrader right here. Um, I He's in second C, I believe... Um, and he, their sword is somewhere over here. God weapon, 85 million berries plus divine metal, which if you don't know, 
It is a 1% chance, or after killing an a 100 times using Divine Weapon. So, yeah. Kind of ties in er to everything. <laughs> Overall, though, it is a hard, like, uh, weapon to get. Very hard weapon to get. But I'm going to show y'all the, um, like, the free one, which means it's just a drop chance. and But it's not going to be nowhere near as good. So, alright, so there is two. There's Climb a Pocket. Um, the reason this one's a little bit better, actually, it's a 3% chance, which is still low, but think about it. The, I believe the highest chance in the second C, um, is a 5%, which I'll actually, I'll show you. But the reason it's the, mainly the Climber Pocket is because then you can get the Sorcerer Climber Pocket, Climber Pocket, um, which it becomes way, way better, which is, um, I actually don't know, by the way, like, I haven't, I'm at, like, episode 200, basically, so, I know this is Nami's new, like, newly upgraded thing, it's only 650k berry, so it's, like, so, super duper cheap, and the moves on it, um, are pretty good, I'd say. And obviously that's the that's the least common out of all of these. Another one is I believe it's a Cento Axe, which is a three percent chance as well. Really good overall. It, the Z move apparently breaks instinct, so uh, our ob uh, observation hockey and overall really good damage. Five and five, you know, five and ten, pretty good. Um, but yeah, and then. Obviously, we do have the 100-ton hammer. Uh, this is a 15% chance. My bad. I, didn't, I thought it was a 10% chance. I have this sword. Um, this is a damage on it. Overall, it's kind of, like, surprising. And it's, it has an actual 4-second ratio. So, low-key, this is a really good hammer it, or um, sword if you're just saying, you know what, I don't really care. Oh, um, But overall... I mean, this is like a 7 out of 10 sword. <laughs> if you want to call it a sword. It's more like a hammer. But, um, yeah. I'm going to show you all that in the game. This is the only sword I have that's in there. Um, I think I showed you all that. Um, I do have the triple sword. The triple sword is okay. But, um, those are all from Percy and they're not really that good. Alright, so this is the, the hammer. And whenever you do unequip it, it does appear on your back, which might appear pretty annoying. But, obviously, I don't have that much uh, sword level. I'm actually going to get this to a uh, level 1,000 sword. I'll be right back. As you can see, we did get it to 1,000. And I got the... I, I didn't know I had this. didn't have the second move, so I did get the second move while I was doing it. Um, so, I'm gonna be doing a damage chest with only a thousand sword, so, yeah. 51,000 is, like, actually, like, pretty good, considering I, I, it's half of the, the melee style. To be fair, I do have a higher level, I do have a higher mastery. You guys gotta think of that. If I, bolt, if I had max, though, it'd do that much damage, it just showed you with no armament hockey. Or maybe that is, that might be armament hockey as well. The Hammer Smash is a decently far-ranged move, a 1.5 million. Um, pretty good, I guess, but the AoE is pretty bad. The Hammer Swirl is where it gets at, 1.6 million, and it counts as 10 hits. So, those two combined, do 3 million damage. Um, here, I can, I can make sure that. Yeah, 3.1 million damage. And, obviously, 1M1 is about 50K. If I got this to 1,500, it'd do maybe 75K. Dial Styles is really good, though. And this is obviously way easier to get. Well, I guess if you want to say that. But, um, it matters if you're rich or not. Because <laughs> if you are rich, so what? Uh, by the way, this proves that Mastery gives you, uh more damage uh, we did 50k before now we're doing 56k uh but yeah um that's it for the swords and pretty much everything 
that like is it devil fruits and whatnot so i will be right back so i'm um right now in uh, whiskey peak as you can see in my hot bar i did equip my rubber fruit so i'm gonna be showing y'all like the grinding type of fruits and the one is right next to me with that half a million health it's actually pretty scary but um another thing that's useful is titles but i don't even i've been playing this entire time and to show how rare these titles are, I haven't gotten a single new one. Note to self, upgrade these as much as possible because they do give you PvE damage, as you can see right here. So, even the new rookie is decent. Um, it, wow, that's three bombs there. Four bombs there. Dang. Um, if you can get it to uh, the max upgrade, it's actually decent. But I know the titles are actually pretty good. Anyway... As I was saying, for grinding wise, I just have to say the best grinding fruit is what I just had on the um, okay, okay, dragon fruit. Especially upgraded to the max. Those um, raids are hard, but you get to enough levels, you should be plenty good, honestly. So, um, yeah. As long as you got enough health, too. The reason I'd have to put it in the number one grinding spot is just because of the, like, the range on it. Like, let, let's just look. Right here, at Whiskey Peak, I'm going to press, I'm going to press my, my, my V move in the middle. Look at that. Killed all three. That's a big AoE. Um, we're going to wait until they respawn. And, like, the Z move. This will kill all three as well. Um, uh, I thought it would hit that guy, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> King Tornado. Well, maybe not. Okay, it won't. Okay. Well, that's actually, that's a good thing that we know that. Now, B will do like everywhere. So, let me put it right here. And look. Look at how much AOE that did. But I even double killed it. What's that? One, two, three. That's six kills right there. You know, it's it's very good. Especially whenever you upgrade it, it becomes bigger, so therefore you do more AoE. The King's Breath um, has a decent AoE as well. And another thing with Dragon is just super duper quick. So, you know. Um, overall, stupid, uh, stupidly good. It's actually good for um, PvP as well. And obviously you get to be able to fly with it. And it's a very, very quick flight. Like, you'll be surprised. Like, look how fast look how fast that is, man. So, I'm going to be showing you all the next fruit. So, basically it is any type of Logia type. You might think, oh, most people have armament hockey. Um, that's true. But, like, some of these Alogia types are really good. Like, the Gas Fruit has to be, like, one of my top favorites for grinding. Um, I'm obviously not going to just eat it to show you, but um, it's the best. It's the most expensive Logia type fruit, though. So, be careful. I know a lot of people use rubber without, um, like, awakening for grinding. It is not horrible. I'm not saying it's horrible for grinding. I'm not saying it's goaded for grinding as well. Um, I'd say the dragon fruit takes it the cake on that. I'm just going to show y'all a little example. I do have gear 3, so let me just equip that in gear 3. Um, I believe I have it on now. Yeah, gigantic. So if I do like... Uh, what, what would it have like... Well, the pistol... Thing is with that, like, it's big. Like, it's a nice, it's a pretty nice AoE. It's a really far damage moved. But there's no AoE. Like. That one has a little bit of AoE, actually. Looks like the gigantic axe might be, like, my only. Yeah, because the, I mean, all oh, that Gatling actually has really good AoE as well. But the stamp does not have a single bit of AoE. Never mind. I did not know I had that much AoE. <laughs> but still, though, 
I mean, it's not the best. Like, don't, don't, like, if you have rubber, do not eat it. If it's in stock, mm, that's kind of like a, like, whatever you feel like. Chop is a very good underrated fruit. Flame is a good fruit. And dark. All just because they have really, like, nice AOE. Flower is a good, um, a decent fruit as well. Um, where, if I can find flower. Vampire is a really good one because you get that blood siphon. Especially with, de uh, what's that, demon step. It becomes really good because you, you get a ton of siphon for PvE. And just to prove it, this is the best Logia type. Because Venom's not, somehow not a Logia type. Soul kind of makes sense. It should be more like a zone type. And then Leo's a zone type, so. Um, yeah. Phoenix is an okay fruit just because of the AoE. Pretty much any zone type other than Leo. Um, Buddha is pretty good, too. As you would think. Um, the mochi fruit is pretty good as well. Tremors, okay. I know a lot of people will be like, oh my god, this is the best grinding fruit. It isn't. Don't listen to them. Um, I have it max mastery and is not that good. Magnet fruit, really good. Like, surprisingly very, very good. Does a ton of damage. Shadow fruit, um, pretty good. I heard the magma fruit was really good as well. And the magma fruit is a Logia type, I believe. Yes, it is. The paw fruit, don't listen to people. It's bad. Okay. Mirror fruit is not good at all. Light fruit is pretty good, though. Um, and that's pretty much it. Chop is a very underrated one, but it's not worth eating it over like a legendary or mythical. Pretty much any legendary or mythical. <laughs> um... But, like, that's not, like, the grinding type of devil fruits you should have in the th going into the third C. If you have dragon, you'll be set for the rest of, like, your lifespan. <laughs> um, just because it's overall really good. And flights in this game make this game a hundred times better. That's why rubber wouldn't be considered as one good. Even though it's good, it won't, they won't consider it good. Even though the Gigantic Axe is actually some pretty decent AoE damage. Um, and I do a lot of damage M1 too. I mean, 2.5, 2.6 million damage is compared to my, my Dragon Fruit. I believe I do have a higher, maybe, maybe not too. It could be, it could be a lower. No, I, it's rubber, rubber fruit, and to be fair, rubber fruit, um, if we're, you know what, Let, let's put on the dragon form, because theoretically, we do have a, um, gear three, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, we're a dragon, but, technically, if we put gear four on, we do, we do more than that drag, this dragon does, so I really hope you all enjoy this very, very long video. Um, if you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. I put a lot of effort into these videos. It'd be much appreciative if you could just hit the red button down there, and then uh, hit the the black and white the like and like button. Um, whenever we hit it, it makes it turns black. Um, I don't know why they changed it from blue. Uh, I don't like that update. <laughs> so YouTube change it back. Everyone loves the blue uh, like button. But um, anyway. Hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, once again, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, let's see if we can get this video to. I don't know. Uh, we, we, if we get it to three likes, three likes, I will do another video on this going to the third C, and we can have a collab with Maliki Sneaky Eleven. So, um, yeah. Other than that, peace out, y'all.